to another Liquid Bullet Productions. This is part three with the one and only Jimmy Tippett Jr. Nice no to way. see you again, Jimmy. Thanks for coming back. I no can't way. believe he's coming back again for number three. Jimmy, we're going to jump straight in, mate. So we've had quite an interesting first part one and part two. Um, going to go straight into, like, do you think crime pays? Yeah, crime does pay until you get caught. But now, yeah. in the modern day society, crime, crime doesn't pay because when eventually you will get caught. There's, there's too much technology out there to catch you. And obviously, if we're going digi di like digital currency, like they say we're going to go, it's going to make things a lot worse. I mean, it's, London's become lawless now. Yeah, you look know, at the guys you know. dragging watches off people's wrists and bits and pieces. I don't even wear a watch if I go to London now. I can't see the point. No. I, if I wear a watch, it goes straight in the safety deposit box. And, and, and it's... I mean, obviously, you see where I live. I live in a penthouse, which is CCTV, yeah, concierge. Lovely. You couldn't, you couldn't get, you couldn't get in here if you tried. Beautiful view. But no, the time feels safe as ours as well. And listen, yeah, but no, it's no crime doesn't pay now. It's but obviously, I've just had to pay a big pocket, so it doesn't pay. I pay more in the pocket than I actually had out of the crime. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because so, it's a fine attached. Yeah, to it so it's as a well. fine, and I had to do the yeah. prison sentence as well. So all and those, prison yeah, sentence, yeah, so. twenty-seven months, yeah. and, and, and so and, and one hundred and thirty grand. So tell us a couple of stories of the crime that you was involved in, just to catch catch up. With obviously, I was, I was involved. Obviously, the, the, the crime that they said I've nicked a ring off the internet. I've never nicked a ring off the fucking. Some society woman come to me. This designer said I've nicked a ring. I had a woman come to me and said, "Oh, can you get me this ring?" She was like, "Oh, crack it!" Like a society woman from Chelsea I knew from years ago, partying yeah, yeah. with some porn stars and that. I said, "No, nah, it, it was too tiny." I said, "No, nah, I can't do nothing with that." Next thing you know, she's messaged me on the thing. She went, would you be able to get me some cash? I said, look, I might be able to see something. I'm in the casino at a minute. I'll, I'll try and get you some cash. But that text message, she then went back to her daughter and said that I'd robbed the ring. And I'd never robbed the ring. But I had to go guilty at court and I got 30 months. The solicitor said, if you go guilty, you're going to get a fine. Because if you go not guilty, you're going to get five years. I went, what? But I've not even took this ring. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. but my, 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 my mum laughed. She went, well, look at all the times you fucking have got away with things. She said, this, this, this one you've got to take. Yeah, and, yeah, I thought, but, and I thought, that, that, then it sort of led me to think, I'd written my book. Obviously, I was, I, I was given a sentence because of my book. That's what my solicitor said. The right. barrister said, look, you've written a book, boasted about crime, yeah. so therefore they're going to go Nobody whack you. They're going to whack you with a cosh and, give, and give, yeah. you the, give, you the, give you the full nine and tails. They're going to give you the full thing they can. So I went, all right, well, whatever, I've got to take it on the chin like a man, and I did. Uh, but no, I, it's, I, would, I wouldn't get involved in crime at all. And any youngsters now, I'd say, look at this Andrew Tate guy. On the, a yeah. guy, he set up a webcam business, Get into your computers, learn all about that sort of, because there's so much money, I mean, to be made that way. I mean, I mean, look at these young stockbrokers and, and hedge fund guys. It, it, if I could live my life again, I wish I would have gone down a different it's route. It's getting harder and harder, isn't it? Every it, year yeah, listen, it, there's no honour amongst thieves. There never has been. That was just dressed up like a... Like a, a it's like people get dressed up in a suit. It's, you get dressed up in a character to go on stage. Yeah. L life is very different now it's look at all the cameras about you can't walk down a road without being caught on a camera yeah. your phone's got everything on Tracking it i mean i was talking to someone the yeah. other day about a bentley g for bentley bentayga next thing you know it's flashing up things for bentley bentayga i've had that before as well yeah <coughs> so the microphones on the phone listening to your conversations all the time your 4k telly can zoom could they could turn it on and watch you in your living room it's Blimey. there's technology out there which is so advanced which we don't even know about yeah 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 that's true so crime doesn't pay now it did i think back in the day for a lot of i think crime paid for my dad I think my dad was one of the lucky ones. He never spent one day in jail, but lived an excessively lavish lifestyle down to crime. Yeah, so you know, some get away with it, some don't. But it no, and, and I think, yeah, I think my dad, so he, he, he just broken it right. But obviously my mum was a bookkeeper. She was very, and my mum worked for a living. She, she worked for a big business. She was a very clever lady. But my mum, she always said, look, straight power note is the best power note you're going to ever earn, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah, she said, your dad's money just gave us the beautiful holidays and the accessories. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, my mum was a straight person, so everything my mum's was, my, everything was done was down to a team with my mum, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have you got any stories that have, are funny stories that have gone wrong? I think wrong? we should save these for another time, because you know what it is, there is that many <laughs> stories, honestly, boy, there's that many stories you just couldn't make. I remember once I met a guy in prison, he was a Canadian guy, they was taking uh, amphetamines over in the old Dame of Jags, because they had the double tanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. BMK, which was a liquid uh, AM, uh, amphetamine, and... They had, they had a, a load of jewellery in Hatton Garden Safety Deposit Box, and I had to get a fake passport, 
a bits and pieces uh, to go and get these documents, to go and get these documents, what they wanted. They said, you can keep the jewellery. They needed these documents because right. he was in prison. It was going to save him a prison sentence. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've managed to get all the documents done up from a little firm, fake passport, fake driving licence, etc. And I had to wait there while the woman, in, in, she had a sewing shop in Greenwich. She's dead now. Bow, she was lovely. She used to have the old provisional, dri you know the old driving licence? She used to type it on old, with the golf ball like type. Oh, yeah, so she'd yeah. type all the lettering <laughs> in. So she, I had to wait for her to do that. But when I would have got the stuff in that garden, I've gone down there, but the guys, I've, I've got the bits, managed to, but then the guys, I think, because I was talking so fast, I've got, the guys come running back out with the, with the driving licence, all the ink had, had run on the, the passport. No, he said, no, 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 no. So as I got into my mate's car, my mate had been fucking about smoking. He dropped the keys out of his Range Rover onto the floor. Now I couldn't find the fucking... Now the geezer's just tapping on the window, telling me to come back in and say, but I'm going to make, go, 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 go. <laughs> and it's, and, and it's, it was just like fucking... Oh, it was like a carry-on, but we went up, going away. But I jumped out of the car, down at the thing, and jumped into the hole, on the side, he was pulled straight away because it's like the rig is still... Even 20 years ago, it was like... 30 years ago in Hatton Garden, you've always had cameras everywhere, so you, you, you can't get away with anything down there. No, but no. They, they try apart from no one's ever got away with anything. But right. it's but it's now it's more opportunist, isn't it? They go and smash a window and it's mm. and try and have their pot luck on a few bits and pieces. Yeah, unfortunately, that's where it's going. But even diamonds are engraved now, and they can go back like they're like serial number, which goes the same as a watch. It's got, it's got like serial numbers, which go back to it like a logbook. Throughout this whole time, this this life that you've led, has it, where is it taking you today? To be honest with you, it, it, it took me. It took me to very dark places with the drugs and relationships. And the more sort of infamous I got with a book, etc., you don't know who's real and who's not real. I've got a few good, I've got real, some real close friends I can count on one hand. Yeah, we all have. But yeah. I would say no, it was, it was my mum's passing what's changed me and took me to where I am now and give me what I've got. It was so, basically, it was my mum's, my, 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 my mum changed my whole life at the end. Really? I mean, I got to a stage where I wasn't really going anywhere. I've got to be truthful. It was, I was always still enjoying life, partying. I was getting involved in the odd skullduggery here and there, but nothing like major, nothing which would have any victims or anything. Or involved. I don't agree with drug dealing and all that. But I was, I was, I've always been a good money getter. I'm very lucky. That's why my mates say you can fall down a fucking shitty well and can't smell in the creed. You're just like you're very yeah. lucky. You walk yeah. into things. I mean, I've, I've met, I've met, I've honestly, I've met people and friends, and they just, oh, I was in Harvey Nichols one day talking to a young black guy. He was a crypto, like crypto king. Yeah. End up early, like bloody, oh, he was, he'd take us out, spending a hundred grand a night. He was going out, to spend a hundred grand a night on Ace of Spades, and he was paying for Rolls Royces. So really, all these people see this lavish lifestyle and live, live off social media. All I say is I've got a lot of rich friends. People say, don't you worry about them. Of course I don't worry about it, please. You can check my, I'm not allowed a bank account. I've yeah. got a CFAS mark. I'm not allowed a yeah, bank account. Yeah, yeah. Everything I've got is through trust or is through like whatever I, I get paid into. Yeah. So I'm, I'm totally 100% legit, but obviously people look at me in my lifestyle, but I can see I've got a lot of rich friends. A lot of my friends are very, very wealthy people. Tell us about the book, Bond Gangster. I was approached by a, a, a woman called Nicola Stowe who worked for the News of the World paper. She was faces of the book. Uh, I just done a feature on me and my dad in 2008, and then John Blake was uh, messaging me and got in old touch me through Twitter and said, "Would I be interested in uh, doing my memoirs with him?" And obviously, then Nicola approached me through uh, a guy called Brian Anderson who took the photos for the book Faces and said, "Would I be interested?" She said she'd like to write my book for me. So we obviously got we had to we got in touch with a literary agent called Andrew Lowney, and he submitted. The manuscript to John Blake, and he was he was in love with it. He wanted it straight away, yeah. Straight away. And it was a number one bestseller in the uh, criminal, uh, the, the the crime section. The it was crime a, section, number, yeah. number one bestseller within three three weeks. What is that? Is that quite a good money earner? Would you say that's better than crime? <coughs> doing the crime or doing a robbery? No, or? I think Martina Cole, who's a friend of mine, she 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 definitely makes crime pay yeah. in the books. But yeah. she's very very successful, and she's like a sponge. She absorbs all the information and the stories yeah. people gotcha. tell her. But no, she's done very very well out of it. And I think there's a few, I've got a lot of friends who are crime writers, but no, uh, I've, 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 I've got two books I'm working on at the moment. Tell me about them. They're, they're One's a revised one. edition of Born, Born Gangster. Yeah. I would say it's more like Born Rascal, really, because I was a little yeah, character, a yeah. little, little fucker. Are you going back to the youth? Yeah, no, I'm going to go more, to, more to the youthful side. And then, because John Blake always said to me, he said, your book, Born Gangster, I want it to be like Chopper Reed's book. I went, what do you mean? He went, well, you've got 100... 55,000 stories, Jim. He said, so I think you could do like 30, 40 books. Right. He said, so so that I'm going to listen to John's advice and I'm going to try and do 
a, few, a book on my youth, a book on like twenties, a book on my thirties, yeah, a book yeah. on the Playboy gangster side of it, going out with all the glamorous women, a bits and pieces, and and all the mad parties we got up to back in the day, the the nineties yeah. rave scene and, and all the, the crazy. That would be an days. interesting one. That to would come be an interesting up, yeah. one, yeah. And then obviously my dad's book, The Real Deal, which is mm. basically an insight into my dad by the friends, by friends of his. Like so, like he's got very good friends who are still alive who tell their story about my dad in their words and put it into that book, which Julie Shaw's doing with me. Well, I'm going to say something coming now in front of everyone. I want a copy of that book because I want to read this copy. one. I want the, the first, first copy. What, you heard it all the like the first copy. Yeah? But no, yeah, so it's, it's, it's interesting. It's, but, and obviously, I've got a few other little uh, projects I'm working on. I'm doing a sh uh, hopefully doing a documentary with Netflix on my oh, dad. Right, yeah. So that's very interesting. But I'm in talks with Sir Brian Cox, who's obviously... Very big in HBO's Succession in America. He was on um, the Tom Hardy <coughs> one when he was in prison, wasn't he? Um, and he also played the villain in X Men. You know the what one? was the name of that film? I love that I don't film. know. I don't watch. Um, what the one Tom Hardy in? Oh, I think that was written by um, your the woman you just mentioned, uh, Martin Cole. Yeah, the take, the take. That's the take. it. That yeah, was yeah, the yeah. one. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so Brian, Brian, Cox. Brian, so Brian is a very yeah. good friend of my dad. That's Brian. That's what you're talking about. And obviously, yeah, my dad. Obviously, Roger Daltrey, Ronnie Wood. They're all very good friends of my dad. My dad knew everybody. Yeah. So obviously, he he he, he was uh, as he, Harry Red. Harry Redknapp was a friend of my dad. So that's why I'm doing that podcast in a few weeks. Uh, my dad just knew everybody. He was like the David Beckham of his day in the boxing. Yeah. In the boxing. So he sort of. I mean, I remember my dad. He's. I mean, he he was like obviously he won his first twenty fights. Undefeated, right. 12, uh, 14 of his, his first 14 fights were 12 by a knockout, which went into the Guinness Book of Records at that time. Did it really? But it, my dad was, he, he, he ended up going corrupt under Mickey Duff. I remember but, Mickey Duff. Because yeah. what happened was, when my dad was young, uh, Benny Hunter, who was a very, very big, big time, uh, he was like friends with all the Saudi royal family, mm. and he was very like sly, bit shit, very cheesy, but he was partners with the American Mafia boss, Maya Lansky. Yeah. So that was my dad's American Connection. promoter. Yeah. yeah, so, but basically, obviously, when Freddie Mills was my dad's promoter, the one who got shot, my dad was the number one suspect because of Benny, Benny Hunton, and that was in the 60s. They was trying to take over the London casinos. Blimey, yeah. And Freddie yeah. Mills had been opening his mouth up or something, so, and he ended up getting shot, and they said, oh, it was to do with Ronnie Craig. There was a rifle in the car, wasn't there? Yeah. But my dad was a suspect in that, and obviously a few high-profile sort of, Mm. things which obviously would be revealed in the book and obviously we can talk maybe at a later stage but no then my dad started going okay, okay under mickey duff my dad said i was fight, fighting somebody 21st fight i was getting 15 quid he said it's yeah. still a lot of money those days he yeah. said this is in the 50s he said but mickey duff said jim he said look no one wants to come to your fights you're knocking them out you're winning every fight no one, over, he said, if you go down tonight in the third round he said or whatever he said i will give you 175 quid my dad really? thought, my dad said to me, at the time, that, that night, my dad said, I was on a date with Joan Collins that night, son, and going out with Richard Attenborough. So <laughs> Richard Attenborough, yeah. Richard Attenborough was a good friend of my dad's. So then my dad said, I was going out with all the high sight. He said, oh, and he said, that would have been like, he said, I could be like the king of the castle. Oh, he said, yeah. so obviously I went down in the third bank and I went, no, 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 there was a lockdown. He said, but he said, so then I just started playing at boxing. He said, it wasn't for me. He said, 20 fights and I wasn't even given like proper titles and that. And then yeah, he, he had a yeah. southern area title where he was kept, he was count, they'd done a fast count, and then the guy was took out on the stretcher. It was, so my dad, my dad saw there's a lot of flaws in boxing, and yeah, always, yeah, even to this yeah. day there is, oh, and no. it's always been it's flaws in everything. Yeah, controversy, yeah, yeah, no, it, yeah, yeah, controversy, everything. But my dad, Amy Cooper writes about my dad knocking him all around the ring in, in his autobiography. My dad had a great life, great reputation, and to live in that man's shadow has been the hardest thing I've ever done. I think I fought for all that time in his shadow. So what can we expect from the new book? The new book, it, it, it's, got, it's, it's a lot of truth and honesty, and there's a lot of problems in my life which I haven't discussed with anyone, which I'm going to put into a, a, a separate book and donate all the proceeds to charity and give my little bit back. And it's something I find that it's putting your demons to bed as well, writing now. I'm enjoying doing it myself, where before I'd get someone else to write it. And that I'm enjoying, I've been spending a lot of time by myself writing. And yeah. I enjoy it. It's your own time. Yeah, I enjoy I've, it. I've yeah. done a little bit of script writing before. Don't get me wrong, I've got a beautiful girlfriend. She's absolutely amazing, Paige. She's, she's beautiful. We've had, some beautiful. we've had a beautiful holiday to Mexico this year. She lives in London, so we see each other every other weekend. Nice. But she's, she's, she comes, she's, uh, she's a little box of tricks, but uh, no, she keeps me on my toes. Yeah, they all do, don't yeah, they? She yeah, does. believe yeah, me, she's I've got beautiful. one ringing now, yeah. as it happens. No, so, no, we have some lovely little adventures together. We go, mm. we go all around the country have shit, making little memories together. Talking about memories, going back to how it was and like it is now, what's the difference between then and now? I think it's I think it was a lot better then. I yeah. think now it's... A lot easier? Yeah, a lot easier. Now it's, 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 it's a different world. 
Mm. Or is it just we're getting older? We're getting older, yeah. I mean, yeah, that is one way. I mean, you just want a, a bit more of an easier life and you've got the youngsters coming up through the ranks now and they're a little bit more brutal than what we were, I think. Yeah, a lot more, yeah, ferocious. savage, yeah, a lot yeah. more savage. There's yeah. not many, there's no morals about it anymore. No, it's... that's what I don't, I tend, I don't tend to go to these sort of places. I, I tend to drink in nice establishments. I like going out for nice meals, nice bottles of wine yeah. with friends. I go back to a lot of house parties where there's good people. Uh, but no, I like travelling now, seeing the world, going out to nice. I'm, I'm, I'm off to Monaco soon for a nice long weekend. Nice. They go to Paris, they go to Lapland. I want to do. I just want to do good things. Yeah, make yeah, memories. Because yeah. when you die, it's the one good thing you can take. You memories. can't do that stuff when yeah. you're in prison either. Can Listen, you? I've got Let's everything I want. I've got a beautiful home. I've got a lovely car. I've got I've I've got lots of opportunities there. I've just inherited a small fortune, which I'll get soon, and life's good. Have you got any messages for the younger generation that are coming up through the ranks today? What, what yeah, are your words listen, of, of look, advice? Watch Andrew Tate and learn. Mm. I believe I watch this man with, with, with great passion and he's a very, very, very clever individual. He's been classed as a dangerous organisation on certain websites because his voice has become so popular and powerful. Yeah, he's, he's, gone, a, he's exploded. He's exploded, scene, but he? he's a very, 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 very strong character, and I've got a yeah. lot. I, I, I take, I, I, I watch, I, I, I spend an awful time watching him. Really? Yeah, and I take a lot of note of him as well. Well, what so about I would all? tell youngsters to watch it. I think mentally, physically, uh, about life, about about how you conduct your life, about yeah. nine to fivers, and about you should, you, if you, you've got to step out of the matrix. This is, it is, it, it's a very hard thing to comprehend. If you're not yeah. that way inclined, you're not going to know that. But no. you, I don't want to work nine to five. I do want, I, I yeah, will make I memories. Agree. And I've, my, my life, I've, I've always lived like that. Yeah. I've had the best life. If I dropped dead now of a heart attack, I've had the best life anyone could have. Yeah, I, I feel the I've same, got yeah. a smart, I can have a We've smile like that. Yeah. I've got the most beautiful girlfriend. Yeah. Listen, there's no one got more beautiful girlfriend than me. I have a better life than anybody else. Yeah. And I enjoy it. And the thing is, when the time's up, time's up. Yeah, and I've had know. a better life than anyone. You never so, know when that's going to be no, either. No, of course so. you could. It could be in 10 minutes. Where can people find you on social media? I'm on uh, TikTok. I'm on Facebook. I'm in, on Instagram. And obviously, I'm doing lots more podcasts. So I'm going to be putting myself right out there now and uh, drumming up the publicity for one of the futures, like with books. When you look back at your life, do you have any regrets? No, it's like Frank Sinatra song, isn't it? I did it my way. And through, there's a lot of there's a lot of mistakes there, but there's a, the, the memories make up for the mistakes. I've had some very very good 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 things in life. I've had some bad things, but as I said, one day I remember a prison officer, Mr. Calloway, lovely officer who was at a high down. He opened the flat one day. He went, "Do you know something, Jimmy? You're always smiling." I said, "Mr. Calloway," he said, "But why would you be smiling?" He said, "I said because I sit and think of all the good things I've done." And he said, yeah. "Do you know something?" And, and we've remained friends to this day. Really lovely prison officer who was, and. and and I did, that got me through the bad things because I've had such good times and such adventures, what people could only dream about. Yeah, yeah. It really is. And obviously, there's a lot of stuff I couldn't say on, on here. And there's a lot. Of course. But yeah. obviously, yeah, I've had some, oh, I've been very, very lucky in life and had some great, great opportunities. And, and, I've, and I've literally, I've, I've been out with lots of celebrities. I was, uh, I was getting, I was engaged to marry Rachel Roberts, who was uh, the, the, the main character in Grange Hill. Grange Hill, yeah, I Yeah, she her, played yeah. Justine Dean. She yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. I was a kid, I used to think, oh, I she loved her. On that one, and then I ended yeah. up getting engaged to her in St. Lucia, and oh, like, really. she was going to be my wife. And then it was like, man, her dad got murdered the day she started Grange Hill. And her dad always used to talk about me, my dad, to her, yeah. to her. And it was like, we, and she used to work in a car phone warehouse in Bromley, and I always used to go past and make out I was buying a phone. And eventually we just got together. And it was like, it was, like, we were together for a good few years, and it was like, she was the proper love of my life, but uh, mm. but this I've had I, and I've been out with a lot more celebrities and and it's I've had some fantastic great times. Sounds like Party with the well. Kardashians in Dominican Republic. I've yeah. been all around the world. I've had some proper adventures in life. Well, we wish you all the best of luck. And I'll tell you, much. good luck with a new Cheers, book. Cheers, I want a copy of that book. All right. God bless. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers buddy. Jimmy. Thank you.